How many of you like climbing trees? Yeah, I used to love it, but when you get old and decrepit like I am, you know, it's really difficult to get your legs up and, you know, to climb trees. But trees are useful for a whole lot of other things. The reading Father Michael said, just read, said that Jesus said that we are to bear fruit. That means we have to be uh, people like trees that do good things for the world. And that means to be people of love, most importantly. And like the tree, we've got to have roots. And the roots we have to have is in Jesus. Because Jesus is the one who teaches us how to live and to love. But we have to be rooted in Jesus. Because some of you in this school might be mums like your mum. Or you might be dads like your dads. Or maybe you'll be teachers like your teachers in the school or the caretaker who looks after the grounds or a priest like uh, Father Michael or Father Sawani and I see that there's a sister here somewhere as well you know all sorts of things in the world that we couldn't be and it might be that some of us are going to be nurses or somebody doctors or somebody who's going to do the stop go at sign at the roadworks or does the supermarket check out. But whatever we do, we have to be people that are amazing people of love. Because Jesus says, love one another like I love you. And remember, he died on the cross. You know, and the cross is like a tree, isn't it? It's got this big branch that points upwards to God, and then the, 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 the big trunk, and then it's got the branches that stretch out to everyone. And these are the people we've got to love, everyone. We have to be a tree, and that's what your school is about. We want you in this school to really love to learn, and then when you leave school, to go out there and be amazing people of love in the world. People that follow Jesus and do the best at whatever you do, whether you're a rugby player or a netball player, whether you're a tree climber, whether whatever you do in life, but be amazing young people. That's why we've built this brand new school for you. And I know you've been already enjoying it. Is that right? That's what a school should be, a place of fun and learning that's colorful and that your life, so that your life might become colorful. And with that, I officially declare St. John the Evangelist Catholic School the new school officially opened.